Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, I'm going to do a recall on a 21 F350. It's the 21S31. The rear spring uh, seats, the welds on them, I guess they can separate and they pull loose from the differential. Let me show you. They want you to get in here, put a feeler gauge and inspect the spring seat. And it's got welds on both sides, but it's not boxed in. What they want you to do, if it passes inspection, which this one does, actually let's get on the other side where you can see it better. Um, it's not pulled away. So you pull the U-bolts out, clean these up, Clean these, uh, this area up, and then we're going to run a weld and box this in on both sides and put some new U-bolts in it, U-bolts and nuts. And as per the service bulletin, if this passes inspection, you got to submit the order form through SSSC. So let's go ahead and start on this one. I do it a little bit differently than workshop manual. Go ahead and pull this uh, clip on the ABS line. And then we'll uh, pull these bolts out of these spring seats. And I'm just going to zip tie them up out of the way. And you have to pull the vent tube and the little vent nipple down there pull this bracket off 16 millimeter Then pull the brake lines out of these clips and we're going to zip tie the brake lines, these brackets out of the way. And we'll zip tie this up like that. Do something like this. Repeat on the other side. The last two I did, they had airbags on there. And the airbag brackets bolt around the U-bolt, so you gotta take those off. Makes it more of a pain in the butt. This recall, only pays an hour and a half. Um, pretty much every one I've done takes about an hour more than that. Takes about two and a half hours. Luckily, I'm paid hourly. Um, I can see why the main shop doesn't doesn't want to do all, uh, these. Uh, they send them all down to me. Probably some of the guys don't know how to weld either. So that's fine. I've done like um, eight of these now. Now mine on my 2013, it's not boxed in. I don't know why these are pulling away. They're not saying if these welds aren't quite good enough. But this recall, I think it's only for 20s and 21s. Maybe it's 22s also. And if it fails inspection, you got to replace the whole differential. You got to order a differential up. And I think it's just the, the axle housing assembly and you got to pull everything out of this and um, swap everything over and set it all up. Uh, that would be a, a big, big mess. So luckily I don't have to do that. I haven't had to do one yet. I haven't seen one fail yet. Although I have heard of one uh, guy in California was towing, was pulling a grade. I think he had a really heavy load on and his, um, the axle 
the housing here ripped loose. Yeah, that would be a mess. Next, I'm going to sort, support the axle on one side. I should say the axle tube. I guess we'll go under here. So, bracket there's hold me up. They want you to do both sides, put a lift under it, but I just do one side at a time. No big deal. And I'm going to go ahead and compress this pretty good. Put some load on this spring on this side. This one actually has 4,900 miles on it, so it's probably a dealer demo. Uh, the salesmen all get to drive brand new trucks. Um, they can put X amount of mileage on them, and then they, um, they trade in and they sell them. So that's probably what this one is. The reason I use a vacuum, you just fill up with, with uh, gravel and that and just coat, coats everything. So if it was brand spanking new with no miles on it, I wouldn't have to do that. And we'll slip this U bolt out of there. Looks like this one is going to rock it out of there. Okay, next, what we need to do is clean this up good. I use uh, a wire wheel and then I dremel it and then a wire brush. And we've got a dremel and it's got a carbide bit on it. About a whole carbide bit set up. Works really nice. So we'll wire wheel it here first. And we'll get in here with this Dremel. Kind of 
wire brush it so it gets down in the crack. This is the good crack, not the bad crack you buy in the street. And no plumber's crack either. side. Sounds like we're at the dentist. It's an awful sound. We'll do one last spray and blow, blow it out with compressed air. Ford also wants you to pull the lower shock bolt and then they want you to scuff this area up to, to apply your welder ground here. Um, I don't do that. I'm just gonna, I just leave them in there. I just send the new bolts back. Uh, what I do is I just put a bolt. There's a thread up here, so I just run the bolt so it's, it's only two inches away from the weld. And I, I think it's better than what they want here. I, I don't see why you wouldn't do that. So that's what I do. And just grab any bolt. I've got a, some bolts off of a cop car push bumpers that I do. Thread in here. I just run them in and out to get a good ground. And then uh, I'll put the ground here. I'll weld the other side and then I'll swap Swap the, this over to do the other side. Let's go ahead and clean up the threads here. I'm using a Hobart 140. I've got it cranked up pretty much to max. Does a really good job. Come in here and put the ground right there. That's just perfect. Oh yeah, don't forget to disconnect both your battery negative terminals. They don't recommend welding with the battery connected.
Okay, now I need to put some new U-bolts in. Okay, here's my welds. I stayed in there. It started deep, I stayed in it. It's cranked up all the way. So it's deep penetration and built up. So you want a strong weld. Can't tell if that's coming in. And then once we're all done here, you're gonna take an acid brush, put this anti-corrosion coating on it. Can't tell if that weld is coming in the glare. Yeah, pretty decent welds. I'm pretty happy with those. I think they're really strong. So I have both of those spring seats welded in. Now let's do a final torque on these U-bolts. Uh, I think it's a four-step uh, process and with the ending at 195 foot-pounds. Um, I just gun them on. It's pretty much as hard as I can with my gun. It seems to be right around 190 foot-pounds. And we're going to use a pipe. <laughs> See where we're at. Oh. There we go. Man. There we go.
Oh. Ah, breaking a sweat now. All right, got this anti-corrosion stuff shook up. Stuff is nasty smelling. Don't smell it. Looks great. I put some Teflon tape on this little vent tube fitting. Just so water won't get in there. And we cut our zip ties off. Set everything back down in place. connector vent and put these bracket bolts in and there we have it it's all done looks fabulous you'd never know anyone is in there Yeah, I'm super happy with that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video.